Hey everybody, so, um, yep, still got some sort of cold thing going on, but we're going to do this. The other thing is the lighting is not great today because today it's April, but we're supposed to get like eight inches of snow today. Yay! So fun, right? So it's super cloudy and super kind of blah outside, but you know, we're going to get the filming done and it, we're going to move on and it's going to be great, right? Hey everybody and welcome to Lindsay's Little Library. I'm here today to tell you what my kind of reading plans are for the month of April. So I usually never have this problem, but I don't know what to read this month. I really don't have anything that's really sticking out at me that I really absolutely need to get through. So I'm not sure what's going to happen this month, but here's kind of what I'm thinking maybe might work. Um, first of all, I have already started this book. I'm reading Salt to the Sea by Ruta Sepetys. Um, Ruta Sepetys is coming to um, the library near where I work um, to do a talk or for like, I think it's a book week or something like that, but I'm going to go see her. So I read Behind Shades of Grey or Between Shades of Grey that she wrote and oh my god, adored that book. So I got to get this book read before she's here and I think she's here next Friday. So I'm already like almost halfway through and I just started it yesterday. So it's fabulous so far. So this follows the um, true story of the sinking of the Wilhelm Gustav during World War II. Um, it was a ship carrying refugees out of um, Europe and I think the Germans bombed it. I'm not sure, but um, I know it was kind of a hush-hush thing. Not many people knew about it, but... Um, a, it's World War II historical fiction, which is totally my jam, so why wouldn't I love it? But B, the way that she writes is so... Uh, it just sucks you in, and she has these short little chapters that leave you hanging, and you're just like, okay, one more. Well, I can read one more page, and I ended up reading like 150 pages yesterday, so fabulous so far. I'm sure I'm going to get this finished pretty quick. So that's book number one. And then Book buddy -a -thon is this month. Um... It starts, I believe, April 9th. I will leave Elena's page um, linked below so you can check that out and see what's going on for Book buddy -a -thon. But I am buddy reading a book with Sarah from Sarah's Nightstand. And so we have picked Before We Were Yours by Lisa Wingate. I know you guys have heard me talk about this before, but I'm so excited to read this book. Again, historical fiction based upon the events in the early 19... When was it? 1939. Um, they... There was an orphanage, I believe in Tennessee, and the owner or director used to, would steal children or kidnap children and then sell them to wealthy families. And so I believe this follows sisters that went through that. Um, but I'm super excited to read this with Sarah. Um, it's going to be great. It'll be great. So then I was listening to the other prompts for Book buddy -a -thon, trying to find some inspiration for what else to read this month. And one of the prompts is Friendships. And I still can't get this book out of my head, so I might as well pick it up. Friends and Other Liars by Kayla Coble. Um, this centers around a group, of, I believe, of four or five friends. One friend has passed away and left some letters behind that's going to reveal some secrets about this group of friends and what's kind of really going on. So sounds interesting, right? Totally picking that up. So then the rest of the month, We'll see. I don't know. I grabbed a Chevy Stevens book off of my shelf because Chevy Stevens is just an automatic author that I will always read. Um, and this is Always Watching. I believe this centers around a doctor in a psychiatric hospital that has some secrets that she has a patient come in that has some parallels to her life. I'm not really sure it's going to happen. I don't care. It's Chevy Stevens. She's a fabulous author, so I'm sure I will like it. And then... I still have to re leave room for my book club's pick for this month. I'm not sure what we're going to do. We meet next Thursday, I believe. Um, so we'll pick that. And then there's another book club in town that I occasionally pop in and out of depending upon what books they pick. And this month they meet, I think, in two weeks. And they pick Defending Jacob by William Landy. And I do have this book, so I might as well pick it up and read it, right? Um, this is around a character named Andy. He's a district attor attorney, very well-respected man. Um, really great at his job and there's a tragedy that happens where a little boy is found stabbed I believe in a park and the main suspect is this DA's son so um, sounds interesting 
it is mass market paperback, which I hate, but we're going to give it a go. Um, it's been on my shelf for a while. I've heard really, really great things about this. There's another book out by him. I can't remember the name. Something just defending Jacob and another. Anyways, but I've heard great things about both of them. So we'll see what happens. I don't know. That one's kind of like low on my list. If I get to it, I get to it and I'll go, but we'll see. So then there are a few books on my tablet that I want to get to. The first one is The Secret Mother by Shalini Boland. Um, this is the Deadly Divas book club pick for um, April, and I'll leave a link to their Goodreads page down below as well. Um, so I'm gonna, I want to read that. I don't know what it's about, but I don't really care because books like that, I don't need to know what it's about, right? They just are going to be good. And then the other one that I've been really interested in, I got through Amazon a while ago, and it's Neighborly by Ellie Monago. Um, I heard from a few people that this is really, really good. Think like Desperate Housewives type drama stuff in a neighborhood. I've been really enjoying reading on my tablet lately. It's been actually quite convenient when you're not feeling so great and you can just prop it up on the pillow next to you as you totally veg out. It's been pretty handy, so I might, um, I'm hoping to get to a couple of those books as well. So that's kind of my idea. I don't know. The only one that's really catching my full interest right now is Salt of the Sea, and that's just because I'm in the middle of it. Um, the rest of them, we'll see. Um, obviously, I'm going to get through my book buddy book because that's going to happen. And I believe I've been talking about that book for a number of months now. So, I mean, I'm surprised you guys haven't come at me and be like, come on, Lindsay, just read the darn book. You'll love it so much. So let's just do it, right? But the rest, we will see what happens. So I will keep you updated and we'll go from there. So let me know what's on your list for April. I guess, what do you do if you're kind of, I'm not in a reading slump. I want to read. I just don't know what to pick up. So what do you do? How do you get through that? Let me know in the comments below. Otherwise, like and subscribe. And I'll see you next time, guys. Bye.